Welcome to my English class. Today we are going to do the Rector Writing Tutorial. The question is taken from Trial SPM 2020 Selangor Set 1 Paper 1 Section A. Let's read the question together. You are the president of the science club of your school. Your club members have taken part in future scientist competition held recently. You have been asked by your teacher to give a speech about the class about the club's achievements in the competition during a school assembly. Use the information to write your speech. Look at the information given. That 10 day, date 10 day, organizer, venue, objectives. There are two objectives. One is given, the other one you have to think. Okay, state level, results, there are achievements, first place, third place, fourth place, the inventions and the usage of the invention. All are given except one, you have to think. Before you start, please read the instruction. It says, use an appropriate greeting and closing. State the purpose of your speech. Address the speech to the school students. So those are your format. Use all the notes given. You must use all the notes given in order to get your content points and 20 marks for the quality of your writing. Now let's write the introduction together. Okay, so you don't have to take too long to start this kind of essay. You just use the words, phrases, sentences, in the rubric of the question. What is it? It is the heading of the question. It is the beginning of the question. This part. Use whatever words, sentences, phrases, information okay, from the rubric and write your sentences. Before that, uh, please take note of the colors that I use to highlight sequence connector, contents, elaboration, examples or relevant information. Do you still remember my 3 E's formula? Good. Okay, your introduction, you must begin with a greeting. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Okay, so you need to greet your audience. But who are your audience? In the rubric, it is written that you are giving a speech during school assembly. Perhimpunan sekolah, perhimpunan rasmi. So, your audience are the principal teachers and fellow students. Then you need to introduce yourself. Use your full name to introduce yourself. Who are you? Write the purpose of your speech. Okay, like this. Good morning to our school principal, all my beloved teachers and fellow students. Then you have to uh, mention your name. I am Bustamam bin Razali, the president of Science Club SMK Seri, Permaisuri. I am standing here to speak to give a speech about the club's achievement in future scientist competition which was held at Sekolah Menengah Sains Selangor recently. Three members of Science Club SMK Seri Permaisuri took part in the competition. Okay, so you are done with the introduction. The combination of the relevant information or the thing that you create and also the, uh, the words, the information, the phrases, the sentences from the question. Now you need to go to the other paragraphs by elaborating point 1 to point 12. Okay, the first point is date and day. So you must mention the date and the day. You cannot leave out one in order to get your content point. Okay, so the sentence. Future Scientist Competition was held on Saturday 27 November 2020. Okay, then you have to construct sentence for number two, organizer, penganjur. Siapakah yang menganjurkan pertandingan ini? Organizer. The competition was organized by the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation. Then you elaborate. Its minister, YB Tuan Khairi Jamaluddin, came to officiate the event. Okay, so you have two sentences already. Then you construct sentence 4.3, venue, the place, where... Okay, the competition was held at the main hall of Sekolah Menengah Sains, Selangor. Okay, then you uh, elaborate. Our teacher advisor, Madam Rose, accompanied us to the school. Okay, so you have the sentences already. Now let's go to point four, objective. The first objective is given future scientists. There are a few objectives of this competition. Firstly, to create future scientists in Malaysia. 
Elaborate. Science and technology is important to put Malaysia as one of the successful countries. So you have your sentences already. Okay, point number five. You have to think of the of the other objective of scientist competition. Okay, future scientist competition. I know you that uh, I know that you dislike this part, but please think. Okay, I got it. To develop research and innovation culture, science because science is about is about research and innovation experiment, right? Okay, so create the sentence. The second objective was to develop research and innovation cultures among students. Only one two. Okay, the second objective was to develop research and innovation cultures among students. Okay, so you have to elaborate now. Science is one of the most favorable subjects among students. Science is one of the most favorable subjects among students. So you have two sentences for this point. Okay, next point. Oh, an, uh, another one. You have to, okay, you, you may, not you have to, you may uh, give more elaboration, give relevant information. Moreover, I don't forget sequence connector, this subject helps students to be more innovative by doing experiments and research. Okay, done. So you have three sentences, E1, E2 and E3. Okay, next. Point number six, state level, peringkat negeri. So how do you uh, expand the word state level? It was a state level competition. About 100 schools around Kuala Lumpur had taken part. Okay, so you have your E1 and E3. Point number seven, results first solar power bank. I would like to announce that our, one of our friends, so you may begin with your E2 and then your E3. Okay, create a name. Said Ghaniullah bin Said Jamal from Four Science won the first place. He invented solar power bank. Okay, so that is how you write your sentences. You don't be too rigid. Okay, you don't uh, tell me that we mu you must write E1 first. No, you can begin your sentence with your E2 or E3. Okay, number 8, point number 8. Use your own idea. What is it? The usage of the solar power bank. Don't tell me you do not know. A solar power bank is a storage device that obtains energy from the sun and uses it to charge or power various electronic gadgets. Okay, so those are the examples like phones, tablets, laptops, torches, box, televisions, etc. Okay, point number nine, third invention, wind energy power supply. Okay, I know that you do not know what is wind energy power supply, but someone invented it and got third place. Okay, we start with E3. Another participant of our school, Masmona Abdullah from 5P1, was in the third place. She invented wind energy power supply. Oh, the power, uh, wind energy power supply. Ah, this is the one. Okay, so those are the sentences. Now, let's go to point number 10. Use light. Okay, so wind energy Power supply. Okay, use light. So, meaning that that thing generate electricity to switch on the light. She invented wind energy power supply to generate electricity. Her invention could, could switch on the lights for 5 hours. So, those are the sentences for your point number 10. Now, let's go to point number 11. Fourth. Water conservation system. Again, you do not know what is water conservation system. Don't worry, you just construct sentence. Okay, by uh, expanding the word fourth and also give relevant information. The fourth place was taken by Putra Andre Ben Selamat from 5 SS3. He invented water conservation system. Okay. So that is your point number 
11. Okay, so you have two sentences already. Okay, now let's go to point number 12, use garden plants. Okay, water conservation is system is used to water garden plants. Putra Andre has given his invention to our school to be used at our Taman Fertigasi, which was behind our Surau As Shakirin. Okay, so that is the sentence. Uh, those are the sentences for point number 12. Okay, we are done. Okay, now it's time to end the speech. So, how to end your speech? So, you may begin with this sentence. I would like to congratulate our representatives, Syed Ghaniullah, Mas Mona, and Putra, Andre. We are really proud of you. Okay, then. Last but not least, I don't ever forget your sequence connector. I would also like to express my gratitude to our teacher advisor, Madam Rose, for her advice and guidance. I hope this will be the motivation for our school students to participate in this kind of competition next year. Thank you. Remember the first, uh, at the beginning uh, of this tutorial, I said you must end your speech by saying thank you. Okay, so that is your conclusion. Okay, so now your work is to arrange the sentences from point 1 to point 12 in two paragraphs. Please remember that introduction and conclusion are separate paragraphs. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye for now. Okay, my students, once you are done arranging the sentences in two paragraphs in your composition exercise book, please... Take the picture of the writing and send to my personal WhatsApp. Can you please do that? Okay, thank you so much.